Flights and World is a company with an enviable reputation for producing quality peripherals such as throttle quadrants, button boxes and flight sticks. And of course I'm referring to Verpal. Just recently they've been teasing something brand new. And when I say new I mean a departure from their norm. It's not a revamp of an existing product. Welcome to the Sim Hangar. my name is Mark. Thanks for watching and before we start, firstly a quick word from this video sponsor. The most expensive component in your VR headset are your lenses. Protect your lenses and your eyes with lens inserts. VR Wave can make lenses to your prescription or maybe you don't wear glasses but want to protect your lenses. Then look to get blue light and anti-glare filter. This will reduce stress on your eyes, reduce the chance of motion sickness, means you can stay longer in VR. VR Wave produce lenses for most VR headsets. Link in the notes below. You're probably already aware that Verpal are venturing into force feedback. I made that statement at FS Expo held in June this year and followed it up with a post, clearly stating that force feedback is on their radar and development has started. They say they're listening, they're working and they won't disappoint us, but they need a little bit of time. And the something new I'm referring to is not directly related to force feedback. Initially, Verpal posted this picture on their Facebook page. And it's not much of a stretch of the imagination to realize that this is a yoke. Something Verpal have never made before. And if you follow Verpal, you'll know they don't tease unless they're pretty close to release. This is quite an exciting development. And perhaps especially so because they're renowned for their quality. We also have to acknowledge that price-wise they're top end. They've now followed this up with a number of other images. There's no doubt that Verpal will maintain their military orientation. Is that two different yokes with the Boeing yoke being on the left? Or does that mean interchangeable grips? Now that would be something. The yoke handle on the right looks like it's from something like the Embraer ERJ, R66 or something of that nature. Once again, an aircraft used extensively in a military role. We can also see the yoke incorporates a lit panel, or perhaps I should say panels. The reason I say that is we can see here the gear lever, but it's clearly not a standalone item, and you can be sure it's no coincidence it's exactly the same shape as the left-hand panel displayed on the yoke. I'm speculating here, I acknowledge that, but it would indicate that the verbal yokes that are coming out you can mix and match both a left hand and right hand panel to suit the aircraft that you're flying or your preference. Displayed here, the right hand panel is a start and ignition, but once again looks like it can be easily removed and replaced with something else. And when can we expect an announcement from Verpal and more details? Well, I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't today. That's what I'm anticipating, but if I've got it wrong, well it won't be very long. Another question that obviously springs to mind is, will these products have force feedback? Well, I don't know. It'd be truly amazing if it did. I suppose it all depends on how busy those Verpal engineers have been. Force feedback or not, it's still an exciting development. Another question that springs to mind is, why is Verpal only doing this now? Well, once again I'm speculating, but I'm guessing it's because of the explosion in users for flight simulation. DCS popularity continues to grow, and Microsoft Flight Simulator with more than 17 million unique users means there's a bigger and more receptive market out there, making it more commercially viable for companies to expand and diverse their range of products. In terms of force feedback, we've already seen FlightSim.com, Moza, WinWing, and other companies already make announcements or bring products to market. Well, I'm excited for the Verpal offering, are you? Let me know in the comments below. But either way, it's an exciting time to be in flight simulation. As always, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you found it useful and informative. Stay well, look after yourselves, and ciao for now.